Hello my dear followers. Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to be informed about new videos. Baron does not succumb to Sevahir's provocations and when they hear the police sirens, they say Mr. Kudret and leave. Dylan, on the other hand, waits very anxiously for news from Baron in the mansion. While Baron is returning on the road, we should not be discouraged, this man is very dirty, he will not give up, but we will not say anything to the people in the mansion, especially Dylan. He thinks Sevahir is gone and relaxes a bit, but we won't relax. While Miss Sabiha is trying to calm Dylan down, Ms. Azade comes to them and asks what is going on. When Ms. Azade gets angry at Ms. Sabiha and shouts, Ms. Sabiha says let Baron come and explain. When the Barons get out of the car, they are surprised to see Ghoul fire it with them. Dylan immediately hugs Baron. When Ms. Azade asks fire it, what are you doing here? Baron says everyone should go inside, we will talk. Yasmin remembers the time when Salam heard that Ms. Fikriai was a bride-to-be. Then, to test Harun's mouth, he asks how Selma is, and Harun praises her. When Yasmin Harun speaks like this, Yasmin becomes very angry and takes out her anger on the chicken she has prepared. When Dylan asks Baron, I was so scared for you, is it over? Baron says it's over, the police took Seva here. When Dylan asks what if he doesn't stop and wants to do evil again, Baron says don't worry, nothing will happen and let's go inside. When Baron comes in, Ms. Azade asks questions one after another and wants to know what happened. Baron says that Sevahir is in prison, then calls Fyret and explains that they are working with him on this matter. Meanwhile, Fyret turns and makes eye contact with Ghoul. When Baron explains that he caught Sevahir, thanks to Fyret, Hassan thinks that he burned me. Then he says that Ms. Sabiha was also very helpful, thanks to the information she gave. When Fyret says, I have done my penance, I have been purified, please forgive me too, Ghoul slaps Fyret and says, I don't know what to do. When Fyret asks, would you like it to be real, Ghoul says, I wish you would tell me the truth and walks away. Baron calls out to Hassan. When Hassan says, come on, nephew, Baron says, I know what you are doing. Hassan does not accept it at first, but Baron says he knows everything and then asks me something, are you involved in the screening of the wedding? Hassan denies it and says if I knew who did it, I would have strangled him. I was just doing business, it was a profitable business, so I became a partner. He says if I knew Sevahir was doing such things, I wouldn't have done it, you are hiding everything, this is what happens after me. Baron doesn't believe him and calls Dylan and says let's go upstairs. Then Ms. Azade stands in front of Hassan and glares. When Hassan goes out to the garden and says he almost got caught, Fyret appears in front of him. When Hassan grabs Fyret and asks, did you sell me out or choose Baron's side? Fyret says, it's been obvious what side I've been on for a long time, I'm with my family, and leaves. When Ms. Azade shouts at Hassan, what do you want? and asks why you are holding on to his collar instead of patting his back, why don't you love him? Hassan says, you know the reason very well. Lady Azade gets angry and says, no matter what, he is a karabai, don't forget that. Hassan leaves the mansion saying, let's go and see how we can save ourselves. While Dylan explains that he was very scared and worried, Baron says that I didn't kill him for you, I handed him over to the police. When Dylan says there will be no such things from now on, Baron hugs him and says, no more sadness. While Ghoul is in the kitchen with the assistant girl, Fyret comes and asks the girl for permission to leave us alone. Fyret begs Ghoul to make peace, but Ghoul is very angry and wants to suffer a little. While Harun is writing Haryas on the paper, when Yasmin comes, Harun turns the paper upside down. When Yasmin says it's my recipe paper and tries to take it, they pull it and the paper tears. When Hassan comes to Sevahir, Sevahir is very angry and says that he will do very bad things to fire it and Baron. When he says to Hassan that you will always keep me informed, Hassan says that you will not tell what you learned from me, in fact there is something that no one knows, and that if they hear about it, they will all fall apart. 
While Dylan says how happy he is that they will all eat happily and peacefully together, Baron thinks about Sevahir's words to shoot me. While Harun and Sevdad are drinking tea, the doorbell rings, and Selma comes. Selma comes in with a gift in her hand and sits down. Yasmin is disturbed by Selma's actions. When everyone sits at the table, Miss Sabiha complains to Baron about Dylan and says that we couldn't even drink water while you were away. Mr. Kudret says that Fireit has achieved a lot and honors him. Then, when Fireit turns to Mr. Kudret and says, Uncle, I got punched badly by Baron because of you, Mr. Kudret laughs. Then, remembering that they called Baron Fireit and asked if he was ready to be seen as a complete traitor, he smiles and turns to Baron and says, You two have a heavy hand, uncle. Meanwhile, Hassan says to himself, You burned me, Fireit, but I will burn you too. While Sevahir is talking to his lawyer, he asks for his phone and calls Baron, but Baron does not answer. Sevahir then decides to write a letter to reveal Fireit's betrayal. When Harun praises Yasmin's cookie and says that Selma is not good, Yasmin gets very upset and takes the plate away from them, saying that if it is not good, it would not be nice to offer it to the guests. He comes to fire at Ghoul with a gift and manages to make her forgive him. When Ghoul says she forgives him, he hugs her and kisses her on the head. When Baron sees the number on his phone, he thinks who it is. When he comes to bed and looks thoughtful, Dylan asks what happened and Baron explains that he is thinking about dinner. Dylan says you Karabais are feared, how you deceived us all, it was Ghoul who was saddened and hurt the most. Baron says don't worry, he forgives, there are no resentments where there is love, and they hug each other and go to bed. While Yasmin is examining her cookies in the kitchen and gets angry at Selma, she is caught by Severi. Baron gets up early, gets dressed, comes to Dylan, wakes her up, then says, your most important job is to rest and kisses her on the forehead and leaves. Selma comes to make flour cookies, and Severi says that we talked to Sevdet so that Yasmin could make them for the restaurant. When Sevdet asks Severi what was the need, why did you do such a thing, Severi explains that competition is good, it makes love sparkle. You can share your valuable opinions in the comments section. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications for more videos. See you in the next video. Take care of yourself. Goodbye.